Glorifying God has nothing to do with statistical advancement, whether monetarily or, or in terms of numerically. Um, because God has called many of us to obscurity. You need to nurture each child as a precious gift of God. And so each shepherd needs to nurture the sheep that God has put mm -hmm. under his charge, whether there are 10 of them or, 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 or 100 of them or 500 mm -hmm. of them or whatever, and make sure that each one of the sheep are nurtured and developed, mm -hmm. discipled according to God's word. There were times that I thought I needed to push things a little bit more so that my ministry could be worldwide. I learned a long time ago, just relax and God will take you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. He will expose you to who needs to see you and God's people will tell you what they need. I mean, if someone hears me and say, you know what, I need your help. You know, I'm going through this in my church. Come and preach a series for me, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot better than me passing out cards or <laughs> trying to do this self-promotion thing uh -huh. and turning the ministry into prostitution, mm -hmm. where we, we end up uh, being, ends up becoming self-promotion yeah. and an attempt to make a name for yourself rather than a name for Christ. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we may be nurturing the one who God will put on the international scene. And we better do a good job, lest somebody emerges into prominence who is not ready. And we may have failed because we didn't stay home in that little town and teach that, disciple that person adequately. And he needs all of his children taken care of. No parent <laughs> is going to agonize uh, that his family is too too big or his family is too small. <laughs> no, whatever family God gives you. Yeah. To the older guy, especially to the guy who's in a small church somewhere and he's been there for years and hasn't seen a lot of growth and mm -hmm. the kind of things that the, the uh, celebrity preachers boast of. I say to that old preacher, relax, concentrate on faithfulness, not on fruitfulness. Right. When you're faithful, you'll bear fruit, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs>